Hi there, welcome to another episode of Flea Market Finds. Basically, I just go to a flea market, buy some stuff, bring it home, and then show you all. That's basically the premise of it, so let's get started. I've been out to flea markets over the last, you know, few months, but I really haven't found anything good. And then today I sort of went to two markets, and I found some okay stuff, I guess. Look, there's some shoes, okay, so that compensates for it. If you're wondering about the DH Gate stuff, it is coming it's just a matter of waiting for it to arrive to me, which uh, it's just taking forever. And because of Christmas and New Year's and all that sort of stuff, it's just delayed everything and it's just stuffed everything up. So hopefully it'll go back to normal soon and then I can provide some content. Anywho, let's, um, what do we start with first? All right, so I'm going to sort these out in the order of when I got them to basically the last market. So the first lot that I got is a blue bag, but it's filled with phones. So if you're not into phones, skip, you know, I'll put a little note here. If you are into phones, then stick around. So these are from John, my friend out at the market. I've been doing some repairs for him and basically he kind of owed me. He had all these and was just like, well, if you give me 25 bucks, they're all yours. I went, okay, that's fine, not a problem. So let's have a look and see what I got. Because honestly, I can't remember. He just gave them all to me, like, in this bag. And he's just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't care. So <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. First phone is a Nokia. Nokia 610, this one is. Let's see if it's got a memory card. Ooh, it's a, it's a little bit dank inside of it. It's still got the little um thing here on the camera. It's kind of nice. I actually don't think this phone has a micro SD card slot. Um, well, there you go. Anyways, uh, it runs Windows, which is meh. That speaker grill looks a little bit destroyed there. Anyways, that's the first one. Second one is this one. It's a Microsoft Lumia something or other. I just don't know which one it is because they made a billion of them. Yeah, so it's a Nokia 532. It just looks it up. All Microsoft 532. Uh, basic meh phone. Uh, it doesn't have a micro SD card. I'm basically just checking them off camera. Uh, then we have this ZTE here. Don't know what this is. Ugh, look at the back of it. God damn, that's horrible. Okay. Well, it's a Blade A112. I actually think I have a back for this somewhere in like a whole bunch of faulty phones. So I might be able to get something. I know it's 4G. Just doesn't turn on. So that's another one. The LG Nexus 4. And it's... Got a bit of a crack in it, but that's okay. This looks pretty cool, actually. I, I do like the um the quality and construction of this. And, you know, the glass back panel and all that sort of stuff looks looks pretty good. Does it turn on though? That's the question. Probably not, because it's dead. But yeah, that's an Nexus Four. Look at the back of it. That's pretty cool. And depending on which way you look at it, those dots appear and then they disappear. So yeah, look. Whoa, that's fun. So, yeah, there you go. Aha. Nexus 5. Ding. Looks nice. Don't know if it's a 32 gig or if it's a 16 gig or not. They always feel light. Um, I do have no accessories for this, so that's okay. I'll just put that to one side. Oh, look at this old bastard. There we go. HTC Windows Phone. Cracked. I don't even know what this is, to be fairly honest. Stuff it. I don't know if it's got a micro SD card or not in it, but let's switch it on and see if it's got any juice. No, it doesn't. Got a cracked screen. Can't do anything with this, really, because it's a Windows phone that's pretty old and it probably doesn't have 4G or anything like that, and I don't have a screen for it, so meh. Uh, next one here. Let's have a look. It's a Motorola. Motorola. Uh, I can't remember what they called this. A device something or other. Looks pretty rank inside of it. Um, it's supposed to be water resistant, you know, with this whole tight back cover thing. G. I actually have a few of these out in the garage and they don't really sell or move or anything like that. And we have a HTC here. I don't know what this one is. Uh, I think it's a legend. HTC legend, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. It only has a uh, two gig micro SD card in it. And I've got like two or three of these phones already. It's an aluminum slab. And this phone was pretty good back in the day. It just, now it's running Android 2 point something and it's just not that good. Oh well, another one to add to the collection. Oh shit, did I just break a screen? Oh well. Another one we have here is a Samsung. Oh, I don't, I don't even know if this is, um, I 
I don't know. I possibly might keep this one. This is part of the Galaxy series. This is a Galaxy W, and it looks like it was released around the same time as the original Galaxy S. So they just released the Galaxy S and Galaxy W, Galaxy T, Galaxy F, Galaxy U, Galaxy C, and Galaxy K, if that makes any sense to anyone. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't have a battery for it, so meh. We have another one here. It's a Nokia. I think this is a... 635, if I'm not mistaken. This is one of the best designs in history. They actually have the headphone jack attached to the back of the case with contacts on it. And then on here, once you put that case on, it connects with these contacts and you have a headphone jack. Isn't that just strange and bizarre? But it's missing um, the little clip there for the micro SD card. So that kind of sucks. Uh, I don't even think this is 4G. I think it's 3G only. Well, there's two good phones in there so far, and we're down to the last two. And here's another Nexus. It's missing the lens cover for the camera, but I have a spare one of this, so I can just go plonk, plonk, done, problem solved. Uh, does this one switch on? I've got to remember, every time I buy a Nexus, pretty much anything from Nexus 4, 5, 5X, and 6P, it's likely to have a boot loop. So I've got to be really, really careful. But otherwise, I'll test this out, see what happens. And the last one... When he showed it to me, I looked pretty excited until I realized what was wrong with it. Yeah. Um, I think the definition would be uh, it's kind of fucked. <laughs> yeah, so I just decided to open the phone up and I believe it's broken. I think. It looks broken. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this one. All right, that's the phone portion done. But that's okay for 25 bucks. Meh. Can't really complain. I can complain, but I'm not going to complain. Anywho, the next item. This is where it gets interesting, people. The backpack. Wait, that's not the same backpack. No, this is a different backpack. But this is a Nike backpack. Pretty square looking one, but you know what? It's not in too bad condition. Two sections as well for, you know, a laptop and then all that sort of stuff. Who knows? Um... This is only five bucks. And I thought, eh, that's fine. I need a new backpack anyways. Well, a, a secondary one. Any free goodies in here? No, probably not. It does stink a little bit. May have to wash it. But anyways, inside of here is more Nike related products, which I'll just take out. This bag actually has a tag on it somewhere. There it is. See, look, here's the tag here for it. 2012. Does that look legit to you guys? Let me know in the comments. Oh, there's even got a name and address there. Ah, oh, cute. Here we go, some shoes. Yeah. So these shoes were out at the market weeks and weeks ago. I think in my last flea market finds, I may have commented about these that I was going to get them, and I didn't. I just sort of, after he told me they were 15 bucks, I went, nah, that's okay, because they're really, really thrashed, and they're size 10.5, and I just hit the tripod, I'm very sorry. Um, they are very thrashed. They look like they've been repainted, possibly. Cool design around here. Ah, yeah, there's a lot missing from there. Yeah, not really in good condition, I would... <laughs> I'm going to say they're not in good condition. They still do have the printing on the insoles. Is the insole removable? It is. Oh, okay. That's anatomical. There you go. Oh, ah, that's really, um, that's really dirty. Uh, the tag here, though is what is slightly interesting. These are from 2007, they're US 10.5s, and the code is 308-866-011. So I do not know what these are. I will have to look them up. Let's see if the other one's got the same. No, this one's got the um, the full toe cap there, but it still looks pretty rank, unfortunately. But for five bucks, it was a good deal, I guess. And this was all from the first market. So just... Yeah, I thought, why not? I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I don't even know if they're going to fit me or not because they're 10.5s. But hey, they're Air Maxes. They're cool. So that's it with the first market. <laughs> that's all I got there. And I basically went back to my car and I went, that sucked. I need to do more. So I ended up going over to another market, which is kind of about 20 minutes away. I used to go out there a lot with uh, a friend of mine, but we stopped sort of going out there. And so I thought, may as well go out there and see what's there. I got two things. <laughs> That's it. But they're shoes. So let's 
have a look and see what I got. Okay, so I'm going to drop these shoes in front of you and you're probably going to be like, why did you grab these? Why did you grab these? I believe these are Nike Mavericks. These were made in 2013 because I have a pair here. These are size 13s and they just, they're a little bit too big. You know, you sort of get what I'm saying. And these were size 12s and these were only 10 bucks. No printing on the insole, unfortunately, but there's minimal drag to these. Probably just needs a decent cleanup, but they feel, this is going to sound really weird, but they feel really crusty. <laughs> it's like they've been sitting outside for a while, but, but with just a good cleanup, they should come fine. I do like the profile of these. They sort of have that skate look to them. I think these are SBs or something like that. I'm not too sure. I don't know. I bought those a while ago. So I've been looking for a pair. I was actually looking at a pair on eBay for $20 buy it now and then like $13 postage. And then I go to the market and they've got them for 10 bucks there. So yeah, that's pretty good, I guess. I'm pretty sure they're Mavericks. I will put it in editing to make sure, but I'm fairly sure that they're Maverick. Maverick Lows, I think they are. And now we are down to the last pair. And I'm hoping, hoping that these are somewhat good. I think they are. Possibly. I don't know. Actually, come to think of it, the Nike SB chicken shoes that I got, there's really, really oddball ones. I'll, um, I'll cart it up here if you want to see it. This same guy had these shoes, so maybe he's a shoe collector or just buys and sells them. I don't know. But anyways, here's some Air Force Ones. And they look really premium. <laughs> they look extremely cool. Um, it says 0 0.44 sticky rubber. Don't know what that means. Don't know. Um, but it's got different colors of leather on it. It's just like a brown and then this, that's like a suede there and this mustard sort of color and this burgundy and all that sort of stuff. It's quite cool. AF1, 82 on there. Profile looks really, really good. There is some toe drag and there is some heel drag on there, but that's not too bad. Then inside, we have this little mascot here. And he's, he's not looking too happy there. He kind of got my eye because I thought, why would they have a mascot in just a normal pair of shoes? So these might be something I need to investigate. The leather is pretty scuffed there. Let's see if I can show you all the tag. Where is the tag? There's the tag. So basically when it comes down to collecting Nikes now, I really want to get only ones that have the old school tags, which I'm going to show you on these ones and sort of pre-2009 sort of thing, when, when they were using these tags. I'm sort of, I'm becoming iffy with collecting. I'm only collecting certain Nikes. I want to collect Jordans from like 1 to 13 and all that sort of stuff, but I want the old school ones, not the newer ones. So yeah, let's have a look at the tag. There we go. That's the old school tag I'm talking about. And these are from 2009. 318, 775, 221. They're pretty outlandish. With the red and the mustardy sort of color and all that sort of stuff. But they look pretty cool and they're 11.5 so they will fit me fine. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to Google what these are and see, see what I can find out about these. I haven't Googled yet, but here's the other one. So these are Air Force One Low Premiums cross DJ Clark Kent shoes. That is a lot to take in. But there you go. They're a collaboration shoe, which... I've never seen before. I mean, I haven't really looked them up or anything like that, but they're in reasonably good condition. The leather is a little scuffed and all that sort of stuff. I have a soft spot for Air Force One shoes. I just, I just love the chunkiness of them and all that sort of stuff. They just look awesome. They look cool. But yeah, obviously that's uh, Mr. DJ Clark Kent there, Mr. Football Head. I was wondering what was printed on here. It says East. Didn't even know that. There you go. The more you learn. So, yeah, these have been worn well, unfortunately, but for a collection sort of thing, I'd be happy to clean them up. I'd have to be very careful in cleaning them up, though. So these were only 15 bucks. Hopefully I set up beforehand. Um, but tallying up everything, 15 bucks uh, plus 25 for all the phones and $10 for the Nike Maverick shoes. I'm pretty sure they're Mavericks. And then $5 for the Air Max shoes, $5 for the backpack, and then the entry fee was $5.50, which brings it to, hang on, I need to work this out, $65.50, I think. That only took me five minutes to work that out. That's what I think it came to, $65.50. So there you go. That's all pretty much that I got today. Um, the shoes are okay, I guess, and they're not the best, but at least I got something. The phone's 
yeah, well, we'll see. See if any of them work or not. But otherwise, um, that's pretty much it. This episode's done. Sorry for the lack of content, guys. It's just, yeah, with Christmas and New Year's and all that sort of stuff, it's just really put me sort of behind in a lot of things. But hopefully things start arriving soon and then I can start making some good quality content stuff for all you guys and finally get around to filming that Sean with a Spoon review that I have been planning for the last like eight months. But anywho, that is it for me. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video, whatever that may be. And hopefully this didn't go for too long. And I'm still rambling, making it go for too long. From the dead. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.